What up guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to talk about a subject that is talked about quite a bit in the mobile living community aka the car camping community, stealth camping community, um, minimalist community. Um, basically if you're living out of your vehicle, um, where are you going to park? So it's real simple guys. The main thing is you want to keep it moving. That is probably the number one tip I can give. I am never in the same spot twice. There's one spot I do like to have um, for my nights, especially since it's close to the gym. It's at an apartment complex and I actually have a friend that lives there. And so it's, it's just comfortable for me just to pull up in the parking lot and just pull my curtains up and fall asleep like a baby. Um, so I'm going to give you guys, let's see, let me give you three or four, maybe five places. So the, the first place is, um, apartment complexes. And let me just say something real quick before I get into these, no matter where you go, if you're living out of your vehicle, you absolutely need to respect your environment. <clears throat> And that's the only way you're really going to make this work. If you're stepping outside and peeing all over the place or, you know, if you got stuff out of your car, if you're opening up your hatch and just kind of like making yourself at home. No, no, no. You want to be stealth and you can't be that comfortable. So the thing is, is always tread lightly and always respect your environment. So apartment complexes are one. The second one, Walmart parking lots. Um, so a lot of Walmarts, you can't camp overnight, unfortunately, but there are some that you can. So just make sure you look at your signs and um, uh, just make sure it's okay at, the, at that place. The third place uh, would be, let's see, the gym. I'm gonna combine daytime and nighttime places. If you got a gym, especially a 24 hour gym, just pull up and park. I mean, go to sleep, pass out. Uh, if you got a membership there, you're, I mean, you're allowed to be there. You could always, if you ever got in trouble, you could be like, I was, I just got done with the workout and I just wanted to take a nap. You know, it's not a big deal. The thing about this is you, you just don't want to make a big deal out of anything because really there's parked cars everywhere. And that's kind of a, a thing I thought of uh, last night. Actually, I was thinking, why would someone ever get mad if a car is parked somewhere? There's cars parked somewhere all the time. And just because somebody's in that car, does that make it bad for that car to be there? No, it absolutely does not. And so that's that's really a lot of the thinking behind like apartment complex parking is there's tons of guest parking spaces. And the reality is you're doing zero harm to anything. In fact, you're helping the planet by not living in a place that requires heat and way more energy and way more construction. So, um, yeah, that was, sorry, I, I got sidetracked. Um, anyway, back to places. So yeah, Walmart, apartment complexes, gym, the fourth one, rest stops. Um, especially if you're traveling, rest stops are great. You can, you can sleep there. You can chill there. Um, there's not a lot of rest stops in the city, unfortunately. So those are going to be out when you're, when you're traveling. Um, the fifth one would be campsites and that's something I haven't tried yet just because I'm stubborn and I do not want to spend money. Um, but campsites are, if you want to be as comfortable as possible living out of your vehicle, get a campsite for the weekend and you can completely relax because you're hundred percent allowed to be there. You can camp, you can do whatever you want. Um, that's just not my style. I don't think I'll ever pay for a campsite unless I really want to go check out an area that's like a state park or some beautiful area. Then I'm, I might get a campsite, but um, the reality is there's cars parked everywhere and having someone either in that car or not in that car does not make a difference. And you know what, guys? If you're just starting this lifestyle, the reality is as well is everybody is too darn focused on their own life to give a crap about someone living in their car right that's just it's such a funny thing man there's such a stigma on living in your car but it's it's wonderful guys it's amazing i will catch you guys in the next video talk to you later don't forget to subscribe if you like this video i'm going to keep dropping all kinds of videos like this for you guys oh there's a sweet corvette let's check it out Ooh, sick dude all right